Today we're going to discuss some miking techniques for jazz archtop guitars. This is a unique instrument that's typically amplified, yet much of its pleasing sound quality projects acoustically from the instrument itself. In this short video, let's take a listen to some examples of archtop electrics and the way one might go about miking this instrument. First, let's look at miking the amp. The principles here apply to any electric guitar amp and speaker that you're miking. Based on the tone you're going for, you can move the mic from the outer edge of the speaker for more bass and low end to the center of the cone for more high end information. Small adjustments in mic placement on a speaker can yield very different results. I'm going to use a Sennheiser E609 dynamic microphone through a Vintec X73i preamp. The preamp is warm and classic Neve gritty in nature, which is typically a great preamp choice on electric guitars. I'll blend that microphone with a Royer 122 V tube ribbon mic, which itself is a remarkable guitar mic on its own, again recording it through a Vintec X73i preamp. There's a smooth mid-range and low-end response from the Royer, and a nice top-end brightness from the E609 from Sennheiser. Let's listen to these two in isolation. added a bit of top end boost to the Royer from the Vintec EQ. Ribbon mics such as this handle EQ exceptionally well in a very smooth and musical manner. One thing that we like to do here at SoundPure to capture some of the sound is utilize a small diaphragm condenser microphone. Using a Sheps with an MK41 super cardioid capsule to help reduce the room and amp sound, I'll place the Sheps near the 12th fret. Let's listen to a passage with just the Sheps. Adjusting the left and right pan of each microphone can create some fantastic three-dimensional effects that really open up the sound into a pseudo-stereo image based on the differences in sound between the microphones. Although this is a great sound coming out of this fantastic little amplifier, it's still missing the natural sound of the acoustic instrument that we'd otherwise hear in the room. This combination of miking the instrument itself as well as the amplifier gives the most realistic impression of what the instrument sounds like in the room to the audience and the player. By miking the guitar acoustically and blending it with the amp sound, you can achieve a much better sonic balance. If you're trying to capture the acoustic sound of an archtop when in the context of other players playing live, the off-axis rejection of a highly directional microphone such as this can be helpful too. The Sheps is going through an Avalon 2022 preamp. Since all acoustic instruments are different, it's important to use your ear and find the best location for the mic. As I combine all the mics together, I can dial in my optimal archtop guitar tone.
heading back to soundpure.com for more tips and tricks videos. And if you have any questions about the mics, guitars, or amps used in this video, call us here at SoundPure. We're all here to help make your recordings the best that they can possibly be.